Hey guys, it's Mavel here once again, and with today's video and build showcase, I am going to be showing you what the replica Alberon Warpath boots do, and uh, how freaking good they are. When we first saw these guys, uh, it was pretty obvious to anyone that had done poison builds before that these are going to be seriously busted. And uh, my first initial thought was, hey, it'd be really fun to make like a good Viper Strike or Pestilence Strike around these. Just make the melee versions a lot more viable because you'd have way more damage than usual and still build into strength, thus having a lot more uh, life, effective health, that sort of thing. But as time went on, I don't know. I kind of just wanted to do something I hadn't done and that is a Poison Wander. So what you're seeing here is a four link kinetic blast comboed with a five link power siphon using the barrage support, thus turning it into a pretty potent single target. The replica Alberon boots give you one to 80 chaos damage to your attacks for every 50 strength. And in a conventional strength stacking build, you can get 15 pretty comfortably and you will realize that that is going to be a lot more chaos damage than the usual amount of chaos you get from a poison build which usually comes from like a bit of chaos on the weapon the added chaos support maybe a bit from the skill itself uh, and a bit from gear here or there this is way stronger so you can basically do any poison viable build with this um, sort of a setup and make whatever you want and typically there's pestilence strike viper strike cobra lash venom jar um, I guess Scourge Arrow, Toxic Rain, Caustic Arrow, that sort of stuff. But you could also do some pretty non-strictly poison things too, like your Cyclones, like your Kinetic Blasts and Power Siphons. And this is probably going to end up being either my most busted or just uh, overall bang for your buck, you know, most efficient cost-wise character for the league because there's really not much going into this guy. He's not super expensive to put together. You just got to get an Alberon's. Uh, boot, chuck some strength on your gear here or there, try and cap resists, and you'll have millions of poison damage and really nice smooth clear and 7k life pretty comfortably. At this point of the character, I think we're like level 85 or something, hit 7k life, none of my gear is particularly expensive, using um, plenty of budget options, and it's an absolute fucking beast. It's just disgustingly... Thoroughly overpowered, I think, anyway, and it would be surprising if they survive to the next uh, major league. That said, don't really know what they're going to do with the replicas either way, but this one most likely needs a bit of a toning down. Uh, but, that said, very fun character, very fun style to build around. I do love my stat stacking characters, just trying your best to get as much stat as possible, and there's usually a lot of crafting involved on the high end if you want to maximize your um, gear then uh, you probably have to make it yourself because the best um, and most expensive stuff is quite expensive on the uh, stat stacking side of things so it's pretty fun to put it together yourself it is an assassin so you do start on the right hand side of the tree you basically just get a lot of strength by converting some dexterity with inertia gems um, and the rest is just pathing all the way down into the strength side of things and picking up a few poison nodes here or there. Kinetic Blast, as you can see, is still ridiculously overpowered because this is a four link. Two of the links are being used for utility, GMP and Pierce. And then I've only got one actual damage link and that is uh, Deadly Ailments, I think. And yet we can still shred um, beyond bosses off of that two link kinetic blast. It's actually pretty filthy and if I really wanted to up my clear speed I could get at, uh, get the pierce out of the um, support sockets and bust out a slightly higher damage support uh, or a real support rather or you could even do like five or six link gloves, elder type gloves and get much um, better links going so you still have like a five or a six link on your kinetic blast but your main um, five or six link should be for power siphon because that's what you really want to boost for your um, single target. You want to be able to just dump a whole bunch of quick barrage um, single target and then watch the ramp and in this case there's hardly any ramp in uh, this type of poison build because it's damn near a one shot. You just get your freaking poison in and then it instantly melts the enemy. Uh, ramp is hardly the same word as it would usually be used for most normal poison builds. 
So let me rip into how this character is built um, around these boots. So here is our current character, level 85 assassin called Chris P. Bacon. Um, we're watching a news blooper reel thing, and in one of the news stories, a pig was called this, and we thought it was funny. There it is. Uh, level 85, currently at 1840 strength, and that's without really pushing the limits at all. Uh, if you invest a bit more, you could easily hit 2000 and even just like level up a bit more. But currently, like I mentioned, the boots we're building around are these 1 to 80 added chaos per 50 strength cannot deal non chaos damage. So the only thing you can deal is chaos. So you can't like base an ignite chaos build off of that, for example. Can't really um, make use of any extra fizz unless it's being converted into chaos. So that's the main drawback, but it's hardly a drawback because if you use this type of character, uh, or this type of boot and then stack the strength, you will basically just be getting lots and lots of flat added chaos. And that's the only thing that really matters. So currently with our kinetic blast on a four length, uh, 100 to 10,000 here, and then on the per, um, power siphon, 50 to 4,600. Uh, and like I said, upon first glance, when you first saw them, surely you'd be like, yep, that's just stupid. Finally getting around to making a build, even though plenty of people have already uh, showcased that they're ridic uh, ridiculously like good. But um, I wanted to, yeah, just do a bit of a wander since I've never done, um, well, not never, but not recently done a poison wander, uh, not in today's wanding meta, and it's felt really quite good. So our four link for kinetic blast is uh, GMP and Pierce, because Pierce does really make it um, clear quite a lot nicer, and then just one damage support in the form of deadly ailments. Like I said, if I wanted this to be a lot more potent, I could put it in a glove slot. If you've got elder gloves, put in some, um, slot it into like, a poison gem as well, uh, poison support, sorry, maybe um, a faster attack support, something like that. And that's going to be a technical six link, for example. Or you could get some pierce um, coming from Glovecraft, Helmcraft. Uh, the nodes over here, I could easily still spec these for if I feel like my damage is slowing down in the end game. And if it does, I'll probably end up specking these four and then getting rid of the Pierce gem here. So I can add a much bigger, beefier support. Whereas the five link at the moment for power siphon is um, divergent power siphon. So that just gives crit multi per, um, sorry, damage over time for ailments from critical strikes, which is kind of how assassin gets its um, real big poison from anyway. So we're just stacking that a bit, but it hardly matters. I mean, I'm not even quality it up yet too much. You then use unbound ailments, divergent vile toxins, which just gives it a um, little bit faster, hardly does anything. You can get the um, better one in the form of awakened at some point anyway, deadly ailments. Um, and Barrage. Actually, I'm not sure Vile Toxins has a Awaken. I don't know, whatever. Uh, and then Barrage. Barrage is what makes your Power Siphon turn into a single target because typically the uh, Power Siphon just shoots out a bunch of projectiles and it's kind of like an AoE um, and it just helps clear real nice. But if you turn it into a Barrage, all of these additional projectiles end up being focus fired and uh, in a sequence and that's how it becomes a single target. Uh, it has 13 projectiles at the moment because we do have the two additional um, power siphon proj from the helm as well. You could use Dying Sun, get even more proj, but there is a such thing as too many projectiles with something like the barrage support because it adds uh, attack time for each additional projectile. So the more you get, the worse it's going to become at the high end because uh, it just won't be worth it adding one extra projectile for five more attack time in that point. You'll be locked down for too long. Um, so you can see that we do have a chest with a bunch of different colors at the moment. Uh, so I started out with an astral plate. It's a strength, uh, strength based chest. So it is going to be hard to get these colors normally, but the way you get these types of colors is by going to your bench. Uh, for the first two sockets, you go hit them with a green and blue, wherever the hell that is there. And then once you got those two sockets, you then go the socket craft from two sockets to three sockets over and over till you hit another off color from three sockets to four sockets to hit another off color from four sockets to five sockets till you hit uh, ideally green, I guess, if that's what we're doing at this point. And then a sixth socket. If it's red, oh well, no big deal. 
um, because we're not even using it right now anyway. And ideally, you use some Verici crafts uh, from the betrayal research hideout stuff to get some white sockets onto your chest. Now, if we do actually end up six linking this and I can't get a different off color there uh, because I just don't try any harder, then uh, you can add uh, damage on full life as a support, which is probably gonna work a lot of the time. But yeah, it's a bit sketchy because sometimes you will be less than on full life. I suppose when you're face tanking stuff, or you could just not do an astral plate to start with, do a green based chest, uh, but it has to be um, armor evasion so that you can get some strength on it as well. Uh, but I do kind of think I wanted the res from the astral plate, so that's why we started with that. The rest of the gear, try and get some strength and resist and stuff. Uh, the accuracy is kind of at the moment getting taken care of by split personalities. So this one is strength and accuracy, strength and accuracy here as well. And it takes the shortest path, but from the uh, starting point, as it as short as it possibly can but it does take um you know the longer the path the more you're going to get for your stats here so this is what fixes up uh, accuracy and strength you can see 41 and 330 so it's pretty nice but nothing too overpowered there because um we don't go that far away or anything whereas the rest of passive tree kind of just travels to get some strength life instant war cry uh a lethal pride that just gives 20 strength five percent strength here and a couple of nothings, but um, I will potentially try and get a better one since you can get a lot more strength out of one of these. Uh, inertia, inertia, inertia. So that's converting all of our decks and trying to get as much strength as possible. I was maybe gonna take this, but uh, it's probably gonna be something else, um, maybe a medium cluster so that I can make use of a nice medium cluster instead of just going small. But Passive tree is still kind of being worked on. It is pretty uh, locked in at this point though, otherwise. Uh, so like I said, the gear kind of just resists strength. Um, you try and get a heavy belt, uh, put on some attribute catalysts, chaos spam a bit, try and hit both attributes and strength, or you can go with a synthesized strength implicit to start with, though those are pretty expensive. It's still kind of worth it if you got the money for it, but they are expensive. Um, strength resists. Just an Astromantis, getting something better isn't too hard on the strength side of things, but we do need a lot of int as well to be able to use a wand. So um, Astromantis is pretty good in that slot uh, since you're gonna need to get a lot of int somewhere. And if you need to try and get a lot of int, strength, attributes, all of that on an amulet, it does start to get pretty costly. Uh, just a strength base there and strength uh, with a open suffix so you can put the focus craft there since duration of ailments for uh, the focus going up to 100% is pretty damn strong. Uh, otherwise, yep, just a 60% poison, 100 more mod here from an elder wand needs to be eye level 83. Nothing else on it at the moment, still pretty good, but um, you can do a lot better and I might end up just multi-modding this one since uh, I don't want to put in too much money, just a multi-mod on this one, put on attack speed and chaos.multi. So we will end up hitting about 2000 strength, I think. We will have millions of DPS and it will probably be fairly budget. Still gonna try and do everything in a five link. If I feel like I need the six link, I'll go for it. But honestly, it doesn't look like that's gonna be necessary. We'll have to just wait and see. Uh, the other supports here are Second Wind, Withering Step, Enduring Cry, and Dash, uh, Wither, Faster Casting, Multi Totem, Spell Totem, Fortify, Faster Attacks, Shield Charge, Blood Rage, Herald of Agony, and Malevolence. Um, probably about it for now. Yeah, so Poison Builds, pretty overpowered. Alberons, grab whatever the fuck you want, whatever skill, get in there, enjoy yourself. Doesn't have to be an assassin. You could also do a Pathfinder, but assassin's gonna have much better single target DPS. Pathfinders are just gonna be good for prolifing and a bit of sustain during boss fights. Could honestly do it, I think, because uh, the damage probably won't be any lacking anyway. Uh, my first two points were one, two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it for the little build guide. I uh, hope to have some serious boss compilations in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and See you next time.